Hello everyone, Alex is here. Today I have a unique product for coffee and tea lovers that many people surprisingly don't know about because the average person here in Canada drinks about two to three cups of coffee on a daily basis, especially people who work in offices and want to enjoy a warm coffee for a long time. Honestly, I thought this product was popular, but every person who saw this mug was really impressed. So today I'll talk about the self-heating Ember Mug 2 to see if it's worth buying or if it's just another product that you will enjoy for a couple of weeks then it will start collecting dust let's start with the design it's made mostly from stainless steel covered with a thick layer of rubber material from outside but from inside it's not different than any other travel mug you know with 12 ounces of capacity the top of the mug is slightly wider than the bottom making it easy to hold even without a handle the lid feels a little bit cheap to me but it's unique at the same time. It requires a simple push to open it and it will give you 360 degrees drinking experience. So you can drink your coffee from any side of the mug, which is a very handy feature while driving. On the front, it has a touch screen to control the temperature, check the battery life, or even show a customized name on the mug, which I find really cool. I really like when I can customize my personal items. And of course, you can adjust all of these settings from the app on Android or iPhone. Now to pair it with your phone, all you have to do is to hold the power button for 5 seconds. But honestly, I found the app completely unnecessary and I only use it when I want to change the display name. It does have a recommended temperature for the most popular drinks, but I found the touch control on the mug is faster and gets the job done. Now let's move to the performance and the first dislike for this mug. The temperature can go as high as 145 Fahrenheit only which is fine for most people, but if you like your drink really hot, this mug won't be enough to hold a high temperature. And of course, you can go with the range of 120 Fahrenheit to 145, with the battery life of around 3 hours, of course that's measured on the highest temperature. I can't say it's impressive or anything, but it's more than enough if you're working in an office. But here is the catch, the battery will last 3 hours from the moment you add the drink inside. So if you're planning to drink your coffee later in the day, this won't work, unless if you shut it down and turn it on before you drink. It will take around 30 minutes to warm up and that will consume almost half of the battery life. So that's the second dislike about this mug. The third and the last one is the charging method. It's not USB-C, it's not micro USB, it's two pin charging station that comes included in a box and takes around two hours to charge it which is a lot considering the 3 hours of battery life. And not only that, if you have liquid inside the mug, it won't charge. It will only maintain your drink warm. So before you go outside, you have to make sure it's on charge for 2 hours and it's completely empty. Honestly, I would forgive all of these flaws if Ember made it charge via USB-C, since it's available in every room in your house, work, and even your car. The question is, can they make it work with USB? Since heating needs a lot of energy, maybe the USB won't be able to provide. The answer is yes. And here are some premium self-heating mugs that use USB. So mostly they did that to sell accessories like car chargers and extra power stations. I know my opinion is mostly negative about this mug so far, but it's actually not. Because this product is targeting specific people who work in offices mostly and content creators who spend hours and hours editing videos. And for these people, this mug is something. Otherwise, I won't pay $200 for it. Now, how can Ember make this product better? For starters, make the mug charge while using. Second, increase the temperature by 5 degrees. And lastly, make it charge via USB-C. And maybe decrease the price a little bit. With these adjustments, this mug will be a hit. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And see you guys in my next video.